Hey guys, Chris Lopez, kettlebellworkouts.com. I am in Miami Beach, Florida. I have my very good friend. Some of you may already know him, Mr. Mike Whitfield, the finisher himself. Now, if you haven't heard of Mike or you haven't heard of finishers, uh, well, that's kind of why I have him here. Because uh, finishers are a part of the element that I use in my fat loss training. And Mike has a very good philosophy and a very good theory behind what he does with his finishers and why they're so effective. And that's why they're probably the hottest hottest tool out in uh, strength and conditioning today, out in the fat loss market today. So Mike, tell us a little bit about the science behind finishers. Sure, absolutely. Uh, you know, there's obviously some studies that are proving that these little four minute add-ons are actually more effective than 30 minutes of cardio. But, you know, not getting too sciencey and that kind of thing, a lot of it has to do with density. You're doing a lot of work in just a short amount of time. Now, obviously, your, your nervous system can only take so much, and obviously, you don't want to lead to overuse injuries. So that's why you, you really can't do these workouts for 30, 40 minutes, but that's why they last only, you know, some are, are as little as three minutes, but on, you know, on a higher end, eight to 10 minutes at the most. Uh, ideally, they average about six minutes. But like I said, the, the idea is density. Uh, you know, you're going from a, typically from an upper uh, body exercise to a lower body exercise. So you're going from push-ups to say prisoner lunge jumps. As a matter of fact, let me give one as an example. Uh, for instance, you could do prisoner lunge jumps. So you're going to work that upper back because you're going to keep your shoulders back. Right. Plus you're working the lower body from you know doing the lunge jumps. Then you go immediately into decline push-ups, working the upper body. So you could do perhaps uh, eight on each side for the lunge jumps and then eight push-ups. And then you go back and do seven prisoner lunge jumps and seven push-ups. So in, in just a few minutes, you're going to hit a lot of muscle with both your upper body and lower body in just a short amount of time. And that's the idea. So not only are you burning calories during those few minutes, but you're also setting a big metabolic disturbance on your body, which means that your body has to burn a lot of calories just to recover and return to a normal state. One of the biggest benefits that I think um, that finishers kind of kind of hold is that, and, and you and I can both attest to this. You've got uh, you've got one child right now, your yep. champ, and yep. then you've got another one on the way. Has your wife been there? No, not yet. No, not yet. So Mike, Mike is a dad of soon to be two, and yep. you know that I've got five kids now. If you're out there and you're doing cardio for like 30 minutes, I mean, can finishers actually replace? cardio or should they replace cardio? Absolutely. And that's, that's the key behind it. That's what's so great is you literally replace, typically you go to a gym or, or even at your house, you do your workout, you know, whether it's 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes. And then most people, what they do is they head over to the treadmill or the elliptical and they do their, their cardio for 30 minutes. Right. Well, instead what they can do is just replace that cardio session with these you know, fast five minute finishers and that replaces the cardio and you get even a better caloric burn than you would be if you hop on the treadmill. There you go. So you get a better caloric burn and you just saved yourself 20, you just bought yourself literally 25 minutes. Absolutely. And in our lives, how, how important is that? It's very vital. That's right. <laughs> okay, so there's the signs behind finishers. That's why I kind of, I literally cornered Mike Woodfield in this hotel conference because <laughs> we're in a corner. And uh, and I made sure that I want, I want him to explain exactly what the science and the theory behind that is. So Mike, thank you very much. You're very well. I appreciate it. Tell us a little bit more about where we can find out more about what you're doing and your life. And sure. If you want to check out the finishers, you can click on the link below. I'm sure Chris will set that up for you. And then my blog is over at trainwithfinishers.com. All right. Thank you, Mike. Cool. Absolutely. Okay, guys. Chris Lopez, kettlebellworkouts.com, here with the finisher himself.